So let's talk about responsive design in mediators. I thought responsive design was for websites. No. It's been in applications forever. It's been in websites even before this mobile thing forever, right? It's just some people didn't have the JavaScript libraries or a lot of the media queries or all the other ways that you can make content grow, you know, make a design grow. They used to make fluid designs, that was before. So the whole point of responsive design is that it's getting too difficult to build a variety of designs for every single screen size real estate, specifically for Android. iOS has gotten a little ridiculous because of the different resolutions and everything else, but you add an Android Nook and all the other, well, really just Android, and it's out of control. It's just absolutely insane. So what you do is you say, look, if I'm building a website, and the reason I bring up desktop for Corona and Android is that a lot of these web TVs, a lot of these kiosks, they're moving to smartphone OSs. So this is, you think this is only a problem for web and desktop people, it's not, it's coming, right? It's a good problem to have, but it's coming. So you need to treat those as not just tablet as your large scale. It's gonna get bigger and bigger, okay? So responsive design is my design will adapt to different screen sizes. I'll show different types of navigation. For a smartphone, I'll show the little buttons. For the tablets, I'll show the nice little big tabs. I'll actually add some different ads over here, some other articles for a newspaper site, where if it's just a small little tablet, or let's just say they rotate it, I'll only show the content this way, right? So responsive design has certain breakpoints, what they call, or this particular size, I will show this particular design, or this layout, right? Same content. Same look and feel, but sometimes different navigation structures. Sometimes it hides the tab bar because it can't fit, right? So that's the concept of, of responsive design. Now, where do mediators come in play? Well, we've talked about views are responsible for what you see. So we're talking about multiple views, okay? Now, these particular breakpoints of 1024, right? It shows the same, same view for these set of devices. We don't even know sometimes. But the point is, is that those two devices, as you can see there, it's going to show that large design. For these particular devices that are vertical, that are rotated, it's going to show this, and on down the line, right? Those are different views. Sometimes they're a single view that has a significant amount of code to move things around. It's really up to the developer, right? But the point is that mediator is going to give it that data, right? And it's going to have that data to show these things in different ways. Sometimes the burden is put on the view. Sometimes the views are really dumb, and it's either on a master view to detect what size it's on and show the appropriate view. And if it's done right, those particular views might have their own mediator, right? That gives them only the data they need. So it's actually readable. Sometimes it's a single mediator, it gives us all the data they need, but the mediator says, look, I'm gonna give you this person view. I don't care what you do with it at that point. So seven views all have that contract or interface, if you're from a language that actually has those, to just get a person in each one of those designs doesn't draws a person completely differently because it's on a larger or smaller screen. Make sense? So that's the point of mediators, okay? So regardless of what size you're doing, the mediator could usually stay the same, right? One mediator from multiple views. If you can't get away with it, fine. But the point is these models in the background, command services, they do not change. This is, and if you look at this red line here, this is the 60%, okay? Above the red line is hopefully the 60% that you're gonna use if you build for Nook, you build for the Kindle, you build for all the Android smartphones, all the Android tablets, all the weird, you know, the iPhone, iPads, um, iPods, and I, you know, the iPhones, like all that stuff uh, above this red line should hopefully stay the same, right? Your business logic, you're hitting the same services, right? You're hitting the same commands, you're hitting the same models, the same API for data. It's just the view is different. Now, this sometimes puts a lot of burden on the mediator to orchestrate. So for example, there's a lot of interesting critiques of how Instagram chose to orchestrate the user experience. They really took a lot of time to think about what would the user see and where are they gonna go? Let's preload for that particular place, right? And they took a lot of thoughts in that. Sometimes that is the mediator that's responsible for that. So in that case, if you're really focused on that user experience, the mediators are okay to target those particular mediators for these particular views. But at the end of the day, somebody up here, high level view, right, who's gonna use other views via composition, is gonna know what view to show when. Sometimes, you know, creating a view and let its mediator spawn up and do that whole orchestration is not good enough, right? So sometimes that orchestration is gonna good, but that's, that's fine. The point is this orchestration should hopefully just be views and mediators at the worst. All your models, 
all your commands and all your services should hopefully never change, okay? And that's where Robot Legs is really supposed to help you. The responsive design and mediators are where the mediators are supposed to shield everything else from having to worry about, we're on a different screen. I need a different API for your own model. Okay, can you just add this method so I can just get this person BO versus that? Okay, fine. That's a good, you know, that's a good compromise, okay? So again, everything above the red line hopefully shouldn't change regardless of how many devices. If you write three views, view large, view tablet, view phone, and they're throwaway, whoop do doo Not bad. It's better than writing an Android app native and an iPhone app native and a Kindle app native and blah, blah, blah. Or is it? I would rather just do what Corona wants. Knock it out of the park. That's what I would want.